It's my job to polish you wet turds into diamonds. I know how to field dress a man and use him as a sleeping bag. Your skin looks cozy as hell. Crossing Swords is an adult, and I repeat, adult, stop-motion animated comedy created by John Harventine IV and Tom Roots, which premiered on June 12, 2020 on Hulu. Crossing Swords follows Patrick, a good-hearted peasant who lands a coveted squire position at the royal castle. His dream job quickly turns into a nightmare when he discovers his beloved kingdom is run by horny monarchs, crooks and charlatans. Even worse, Patrick's do-good nature makes him the black sheep in his family and his criminal siblings have returned to make his life hell. We had a chance to check out where all the magic happens, so let's take a look. <laughs> we went through a bunch of titles, actually, over the course of making the show. Um, we, uh, uh, I think it was because we couldn't clear a couple different earlier titles that we had yeah. to call it something else. Um, I can't. Re I can't remember who came up with this title, but it just what struck us as very funny. Scott Landsman. Was it? Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. So yeah. Scott from Sony uh, came up with the, this title, um, and we like it because it's a, it's got a double meaning, and uh, it kind of encompasses the the uh, the attitude of the show and the juvenile nature of the show, and um, it's it's sort of perfect. Yeah, I like it because it steers an adult. Like you, you, you see the title and you, you know what you're in for, hopefully. So it's helpful. My girlfriend's evil and I'm covered in shit. I'm working through some residual anger. Well, because of the way we record the show, um, everyone records separately and they go line by line and they give us three in a row of every line. So very quickly, it, it becomes um, just a mess of words that they're plowing through. Um, so, uh, yeah, everyone stops laughing after a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer funny. Yeah. So stop animation is, has been around for years and years. How much has the technology affected your production process? I mean, I know it's still tedious, but how has technology helped, you know, versus the old ways of doing things? I think the biggest thing is, um, you know, way back in the day in the eighties and the nineties, it was film. Um, and then in the late 90s, we started to get like a frame reference. So you're able to have a video camera with a screen and you can actually see what you're doing. So I think um, having the animators seeing what they're doing as opposed to the way it was back then is huge. And then having a digital pipeline has made it more affordable for TV animation. Uh, a show like this would have been super expensive if it was filled, you know? So I think having a digital and being able to see what you're animating has made it uh, faster and more affordable. It's a unique show, but the humor's pretty universal, and I think the goals and the uh, obstacles that our main character faces are pretty universal. Um, so I think it, uh, I think the appeal is going to end up being pretty broad. Could a censored or PG-13 of this version ever work? I think uh, it would be pretty funny to try. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, in the old, uh, on airplanes, they used to show the censored version of movies and the word Mickey Ficky would pop up instead of uh, the other one. And <laughs> that would be, that'd be fun. Yeah. We, should, we should try to do that as like an Yeah, episode. it is funny. This is not your kid's stop motion animated series. Crossing Swords is on Hulu now. I'm Danielle DeLate and you've just been buzzed. It's my job to polish you wet turds into diamonds. I know how to field dress a man and use him as a sleeping bag. Your skin looks cozy as hell. Thank you.